Uh, previously on Xenoblade Chronicles, uh, we we ended the last video by introducing ourselves to Fiora. This is part two, like I said, so part one explains all the combat nonsense, all the nuances and such. I'll go into more detail about that as the game introduces new mechanics, of course. We're introduced to Fiora now. We're now in control of Fiora. She's uh, headed over to find Shulk to give him the food. Tasty, tasty food. But what do we need to do here? Let's... Where's my map? Yeah, I wanted to show you how I got here, at least. Where's our map? Here we go. So we were inside uh, Colony 9 right here. We're headed south of town to visit Shulk right here on the top of this thing, I'm gonna let you call it. Hopefully we'll unlock another fast travel point, so I have to keep doing this again. I decided I'm not going to do any more side quests until I actually get my party set up. And spoiler alert, don't get too attached to Fiora. Fiora. <laughs> so if I'm gonna level up, I feel the need to wait until I get my, uh, third, my permanent third party member, so. Look, if you haven't played this game before, I think I think we're way past the whole spoiler territory. I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to give you a bunch of spoilers for this game. I just want to give you a heads up. Don't get too attached if you are. And Darth Vader is Luke's father. Unrelated note. Yeah, here's here's Shulk right here. It is kind of a weird fake out that they try to introduce you to Fiora this early in the game. They want you to actually control her. <laughs> but I guess it's one way of getting attached to her. Oops. Like I said, don't get too attached to Aerith in Final Fantasy VII either. Which just came out on the Switch, apparently. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Anyway, if you don't know by now what happened to Aerith in Final Fantasy VII, I don't know what the hell you do. I honestly don't know what the hell you do. I was about to say, it's not that in English, is it? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have the Japanese voice acting. Those eyes are kind of trippy. Even for anime. うん。うん。うん。うん。These models are not good. They're actually kind of bad. <laughs> and I don't mean like in an N64 way. I mean these models are actually kind of bad. <laughs> うん。<笑><笑> Oh yeah, gosh, she's crazy for it. You know how it is. Like missile command. Outstanding. Now we have two pro I was supposed to skip those cutscenes, but I at least wanted to let you hear the voice acting for this part of the game. If I if I if they introduce a new character, I'll at least let you hear their voices in Japanese. Okay, a character's a shout out and affinity cry to another party member to encourage or assist them depending on how their battle is going for them. Uh, go up to a party member and press B to give them encouragement. Give them a hug. <laughs> this game has a hug box mechanic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Help people out with their feelings. Uh, encourage the spirited party members. Help party members suffer dazzle or top days, days or topple. Excuse me. Encouragement and help improve the affinity between two party members. Okay. Chatting to your friends in a heart-to-heart. -heart. The affinity between two party members is deep enough they can have a heart-to-heart. -heart. 
Search for the heart icon. Each indicates a possible heart to heart. Why not check out the heart to heart and Outlook Park? For further information, see the heart to heart continue tutorial. So it's another excuse to, if you have certain members in your party, you can initiate certain conversations that will increase their affinity for each other, which means in fights, um, I want to say their, I want to say their attacks are stronger or their buffs are stronger, things like that. I can change the party leader. Select the leader you want as the leader and press C. Curse to the character in the center and press A. Okay. We're not going to change. Are we going to change it now? Well, I, well, I, well, well, we'll practice with Fiora. Yeah, I'm not going to attach. Okay, we'll do the heart to heart here in a second. I can skip that if I want to. Well, let's view the heart to heart. View the last heart to heart. View the heart to heart list. Okay, this I know where it is. It's on the minus sign menu. Okay, there's no there's no uh, voice acting here. There's nothing really looking good. Ah, see, uh, that was the correct response. Maybe it was the incorrect response. Wanted to marry me? <laughs> okay, I'm asking some stuff to want to be a bride. If that is what I wanted. As Nakio said in Black Panther. Yeah, like I said, yeah, don't get too attached to her. You don't try to front like you didn't care. That was the reaction to that question. Anyway. Next. Like I said, shipping. Little Skeeter. Okay, let's save our game first. I'm not going to initiate a battle. Okay, so we'll, pull, we'll play a little bit with uh, Fiora. But we're not going to do too much fighting until... Uh, until Ryan uh, joins us. So my, okay, we're not gonna get into, okay, we'll get into one fight with her, as you can see her. So you get to see what she can do, and then we'll pick up Ryan. Uh, Z, yeah, let's get out of that. Where's the C button? We can't change leaders here. We have to go to the party op. We have to go to the party menu and do that. Okay, minus sign. Question other information, heart to heart. There we go. View a list of heart to hearts. Or there's one right here. <laughs> I guess we're uh, neutral. Check affinity. We'll go through the manual a bit later. One of the things I'm gonna try and do with every video is a little bit of the exploration, a little bit of the combat, and a little bit of the tutorial review. Just to kind of see what's going on. See? We're cool with everybody. That will increase over time, don't worry. Got the love triangle. Or it's just the affinity triangle, but anyway. Uh, Z. There we go, let's initiate. Okay, attack from behind to deal additional damage. Okay, she's taking, she's taking aggro. See the little red ring around her? Thanks, Shulk. <laughs> See? It's all good. I actually might want to wear some of these items. We'll find out. We'll wear them in a second. Oh yeah, we can fast travel. Um, uh, let's, save, let's save ourselves a bunch of save ourselves a bunch of trouble here. Okay, uh, let's fast travel. Remember, I had to press the uh, minus sign for that menu. Use the D-pad to move around. And let's go. Where are we going exactly? Darn it. Let's at least let's at least let's just go back to town. So where's our next uh, mission? Well, at least I know how to get back here. Yeah, it's hard to hard over here. Good luck getting there, though. We can't get there yet. So we going to Dunban's house? Let's go to the commercial district. It's pretty close. Cool. Should be pretty cool. See, instant fast travel. Beat that Skyrim. Uh, let's see. Where are we going? Journal. And we can look at the journal while we're moving around. We don't need to use the Wiimote at all for targeting anything on screen, which I love. 
which is probably re the reason why this game works so well with the class controller. You don't, you don't need, you, there's no targeting reticle in this game. So you don't really need to point your Wii mode at anything in particular. You just need to be able to use the buttons on the Wii mode. So that I love. Love it to death, actually. Of course, it helps that it's an RPG. <laughs> and not a real-time action game, thank goodness. Uh, let me check on a couple of things. So we already completed that. What else are we doing? Where's Ryan? Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing here? Yeah, let's go to the lab. I would love to know where the lab is. Now I'm just, now I'm just confused. Let's see if we can find the lab. Is there a local map around here? Probably not. Area map. Let's just zoom in a bit. That's not zooming in. Let's see. No story quest objective, huh? So there's really nothing to do here, is there? We're going north. Oh, it's a heart to heart out here. Just a second. Who's it with is the question. Yeah, we're, let's go to Dunman's house. That's where she said the. That's where we said we did a thing together. Uh, where's the heart to heart? Is it inside the house? I guess is the question. Oh, let's go inside now. What well, do you know? We can't go inside the house. Now let's go to the bedroom. We can have the heart to heart in there. Oh, wait, here we go. Done. Then. See? I'll let your girl. Uh, it's a camp. Oh, here we go. Remember the kitchen shulk? I can't see this heart to heart yet. Maybe later. I guess we'll do that later. Maybe with another set of characters we can do it. Maybe with Ryan. Where's Ryan? <laughs> he just ran away. Was I supposed to be paying attention to where he went? Uh, minus sign. Yeah, let's go to the journal and see what's going on. Uh, quest details. That's right, story memo. Duh. Duh. Z. Uh, let's see. Minus sign. Z. We're going to the lab in the military district. Um, let me confirm where the military district is. I want to say it's east of here. You can always fast travel there. Actually, no, it's west of here, I want to say. Here it is, up here. This is the part I didn't get to do right away. That's fine, we'll do it now. Side quest. We're not, again, we're not gonna complete it, we're just gonna hoard them. So when we complete them later, we'll get a bunch of experience, and that'll be great. Wait. I got another achievement. Oh, not that guy. This guy. You got experience for doing, uh, for doing, uh, talking to people, I guess. Eh, how high, how high level is this beast? <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the beast I'm looking for. This better be a low level beast. It's a challenge quest. What could possibly go right? Uh, we're going over here then, huh? I don't know why I couldn't see this before. Yeah, I couldn't see that flag earlier, but now I can see it, so that's what matters. Well, we're making nukes. What armaments they got going on in here? Ooh, Monado. Hey, it's Ryan. What's up, dude? Who's cosplaying? Yeah. 
Let's put down the magical doodad, dude. Well... Okay, she's not supposed to die yet. <laughs> but we call that foreboding, kids. The sword didn't kill her. She must be invincible. Yeah, don't worry, you'll be fine, Kiora. すまん。頼み事があったんだけど、いなかったしさ、お前。僕だって外の空気を吸いたくなることもある。体まだ痺れてる。モナドを締め込んである理由。分かったろ。なあ、骨身に染みたよ。ちょっと触ってみたかっただ
メルドリザドの巣窟だって聞いたけど主力が怪我したらどうするのよラインと違って繊細なんだからなんだよそれ平気だよ自分の身くらい自分で守れるってでも分かった約束する主力には傷一つ負わせないってラインの約束なんて果てになんないわよそんなことないよ口だけさ Ah, she left Fine Told you not to get too attached to her <laughs> Okay, uh, character arts cannot be leveled up Now they tell me Put skill trees in the main menu for the information See the skills tutorial Okay Like I said, I'm not going to do too much of that until I actually get my party of three set up. Heart to heart. So we'll get some actual combat a bit later during this video, if we can help it. Next, heart to heart. Need to be two people must be in, the two people involved must be in your party. The feeling between them must be equal or higher than the necessary affinity level. So let's do heart to heart. We'll add it to the list where you can review these conditions. Okay. So I found one of them, but I didn't actually get to trigger it so I can go to the list see what I need to do to trigger it move the cursor to an art and press A to level it up only up an art requires arts points AP is a thing on defeating enemies stats will change lever displayed in blue okay so those AP that I saw at the end of the fight those are arts points they've been zero so far but now the game's letting us level them up to arrange the position of an art in the battle pass, select C, select the art, then move the cursor. Oh yeah, that's how you can move, you can uh, adjust the positioning of all the arts on your little battle palette on the bottom of the screen during a fight. We'll do that a bit later. Let's see what this is about. Skills. Skills. Prioritizing character or trait that will grant or link state. Okay. Shulk skill trees divide into three branches. Humanity increases either, integrity increases block rate, and intuition increases agility. Oh, it's block rate important. I'll make it later if you want to build that way, I guess. They no longer wait on how many on when and how many brand times you can switch branches. You can respec a lot apparently in this game, which I know people really like. As skill points are gained, the skills then select a branch or learn from the word from top to bottom. When the icon is full, the character learns that skill. Take an SP. So we're gonna have to practice with this a bit later. Because I wasn't really able to make sense of this the last time I played this game, which was the first time I played it, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, always active, only active when the character is part of the battle party. The picture on the icon shows the skill effects. One person, three people, or all the whole party. Skills lower down the tree require more SP. The fastest way to increase your number of skills is to switch to a different character's trait once a particular skill has been learned. Okay. Switch to a different character trait once a particular skill. Okay. Once a character has acquired a particular skill, it continues to be effective even when another character trait is prioritized. Oh! Okay. Thanks for clearing that up. Okay, I'll go back and read the manual. Read the tutorial about that a bit later. Z. We can go with Ryan to the Tefra cave and gather to collect some either cylinders. Okay. So here's a problem. I'm only going to have two people in this party right away, so I guess we might as well just level up with these two characters. Hi, Fiora. Yeah, we'll think about leveling up. Wait, go back here for a second. Let's. There's a red. There's a red exclamation point. I forgot to investigate. So let's see what's going on here. But I am going to be able to level up by completing these side quests, and so that'll be good. Okay, where's that red question mark? Supposed to be here. Maybe later? Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Repair. Bad news about Desiree's watch. It's worse than I thought. I need three blue chains. I don't, I, well, I picked up at least one. I know that. Uh, how many do I have? Pretty sure I, I thought I had. Well, I have at least one. Let's do a quick check. Minus, minus button? Not the area maps. We're going to the items right here. Inventory. 
How many of these things we got? They're probably just those little blue dots you see in the overworld I've been picking up randomly. Uh, we switch tabs. Press 1 to switch tabs. Okay, that's what's going on. Materials. Crystals. Just a second. Nope. We need... Okay, that, that red exclamation mark right there means it's part of a quest. We need one more. So we'll get to that. Uh, what else can I do here? Area maps. Let's skip around. Also save our game when we're outside. So we will complete some side quests. Ah, crap, we gotta go to the cave. I was afraid of that, so here's what we're gonna do. If your if your owner is not gonna join us, let's do some exploration and let's let's unlock some more fast travel points. How about that? So we'll explore a bit, it'll be fun. It's an RPG, we can explore a little bit. So we'll save our game. And I think it was Tom Chick who said don't just don't spend too much time wandering around the map. Just make a beeline for a particular important part of the story that I won't spoil yet. But the game, but as I recall, the game's like, you don't spend too much time wandering around leveling up. Just make a beeline for the story quests and complete them until you start getting, you know, the important parts of the story done. So that makes sense. Let me at least see what's out there. Yeah, see that uh, enemy right there above my head? That is a level 16 enemy, I want to say. Okay, but I got my fast travel point here. Are there any other fast travel points here? No. No. I think we could actually jump down there, by the way. You nothing to see here. But I just want to show you, I definitely want to show you that enemy. Can we jump over the fence? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, we can. Didn't mean to do that. No dead. <laughs> yes, we can jump over the fence. Part of the trick is figuring out where you can actually leave the bounds of the towns. Well, I found another location, so I got experience points for finding it. Again, when you just explore the map, you get experience points, so that's always cool. So we get into a couple more fights. And I'll let you, I'll, I'll peek at this high level enemy that we're not going to be able to defeat because he's trying to deal with this kill, this kill us. So what we're going to do is. We're going to take a peek at this high-level enemy and then leave. We get a few more of these blue things. See, so yeah, the game throws these shiny objects all over the place. It's kind of insidious. <laughs> you don't have to collect them all, but since we're early on in the game, I kind of want to give you an idea about what's available early on as you wander around. Because you might not need any of this crap. It's probably just stuff to be sold, like these white beetles. Like whatever, dude. Okay, so I can definitely climb up the wing of this thing. Is it a ship or a wing? I probably don't remember. Dawn Hydrangea. Yeah, there are a lot of these craftables lying around, but apparently they aren't important until later. Because there are a couple of towns later on that have actual... There's actually a, there's actually a base building component to this game later on. Hey. Okay, that, we're just going to take a peek at this level. I think that enemy's level 17 or something stupid high. Probably even be higher than that. Might be level 30. <laughs> yep. You don't want to mess with this, dude. Say unique monsters are much stronger than the other monsters in the field. Feed a unique monster will be rewarded with better quality items. But of course, we're not going to run anywhere near as strong as we need to be to face those guys. We're just going to leave. Okay, uh, what else can I do while I'm here? Like I said, we'll get to a couple of fights. See if there are any other enemies around here that are worth fighting. Can't climb over here. Uh, we could fast travel. Let me explore a little bit more. Don't worry, I have plenty of time. I have at least half an hour. So we all have time to get to a couple more fights to do some more exploring. So we'll have to do Tegra Cave at the end of the, uh, in the next video. Which is fine. We don't have to do everything right away. Yeah, I guess we can complete some side quests for you in the video after after we get after we get into a couple more fights, we complete some more side quests. It'll be great. So what else can I do while I'm here? Well, let's grab some more blue crap. Thought there would be uh, more enemies around here. Let me check. 
Cause there's a, there's a, there's some land over there. We can head over to the land. Prairie dragonfly. Are these items randomized? I want to say they're not. I'm not going to be worried too much about hunting them all down. The other blue item over there. We can explore that shore over there. I was hoping there'd be like a fast travel point over there. There might not be. Yeah, there are enemies over there on the shore to the left of us. So we'll see what's going on there. So I guess my logic's going to be just go in a direction. If you see any blue crystals, just pick them up. Like these cool potatoes. Wasabi! Uh, that's the other half of the wine. Enemies will pop in, as you would expect. Fade in, excuse me. <laughs> okay, how strong are these enemies? Let's not get too close to them if they're really strong. Is that a crabble up there? Yeah, those guys might be really strong. Move the camera around a bit. Yeah. yeah we're not going to get too close to these guys. Found the cape. Ha. Yep, 35. We do not want to be here. <laughs> Got some level 35 enemies. We do not want to be here, dog. Oops, they see me. Ow! Probably should have saved my game. <laughs> well, now I know. Don't go to the western shore. Was it the eastern shore? I think it was the eastern shore. Eh. But did I get my experience? I got a, I got an achievement for dying apparently. Achievements. Felt the pain of being incapacitated for the first time. Yeah, I don't think I collected all the items I needed, but I don't really need those items I anymore, mean, really. But now I know. Don't go over there. <laughs> Come on, it's an RPG. You gotta learn how to explore every once in a while. Okay, uh, area maps. What's the next area we can explore? I was just trying to run away, and those guys, those level 35 guys attacked me, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, we'll go over here. We'll take the main path. So, where's the cave? So, yeah, the cave's probably supposed to be one of those other directions, I guess. So, we'll go to the north, and then we'll zip back here. To this fast travel point and then go south. Then along the way we'll get into a couple of fights. It'll be fine. Maybe not with the bunnets. How much experience do I need to get to the next level? I think I'm already at level 5. That's about as high as it goes. Level 4. So avoid the big enemies, I guess. And we leveled up by finding something. <laughs> I'm not complaining. So how did I, what was my experience level before this? I haven't figured that part out yet. Music in this part is very good, so I dig it. Nope. Move the camera around. You have to get behind them. Not that low. There we go. Yep. Okay, so this level four is not bad. Press to B. I don't know what that did. But who are we attacking? Probably hit the wrong enemy, I think. Okay, we attacked the wrong enemy. Sorry, we targeted the wrong enemy. Let's up the auto attack. Attack from the side to lower physical defense. Like that. There we go. Okay, and uh, let's see. Inflict some break on enemies in front. Maybe he can topple them if he needs to. And he's down. I'll switch to Ryan later. I'll just mess around a little bit. Any more enemies around here? Whoops! Uh, level 10? Yes, I'm taking a level 10 enemy right now. <laughs> Let's not do that. Flammy's level 7. Let's not mess around with it. Praying Caterpile. Big. Press the one, bud. 
Okay, I gotta keep track of that. Maybe that gives me a bonus. Attack from behind. Let's, let's break. Got him. And now he's mad at me. Uh, get between me and him, Ryan. Thank you very much. Attack from the side. Critical defense down. Attack from behind, and he is down. Okay, so we got 10 skill points for that. Get treasure chest. Broken antenna. So we're going around the side. Make sure no high level enemies see us. I think these enemies might be a bit too strong. Yeah, this guy's level 8, so let's not mess around with them. We'll come back. So the game makes it pretty known early on that they have some of these early enemies are going to be really tough. We level up pretty fast, though. That's pretty good. Whatever balancing they did to that was pretty good. I'm glad they did that. Level 6. Here's level 4 Beach Crab. Well, these enemies dropped something. I forget what. I pressed B, so I got an achievement. Don't know what that was, but you know, excuse me. Back from the side. Physical defense down. And attack from behind. Good to me. He's mad at me. Okay, not anymore. Saw the red ring around me. Saw the red ring of death. Yeah, it wasn't great, but dang. And he's down. So we're gonna have a little bit of fighting. Okay, so I guess we'll switch to Ryan in a second. Material quest. Completed. So I don't have to go back and talk to that dude. Problem's all. Okay, I got a thing. I don't know what that star was, but I got a thing. Let's kill another beach crab while we're here. Actually, how do I switch? Well, I'll show you. I'll do one more fight with uh. Shulk, then we'll switch to Ryan. B. Okay, get in the front of him. Let's break. Okay. From behind. That's from the side, excuse me. Now we're gonna go from behind. And he is down. That's pretty much all we need to know for these guys, right? That's pretty much all the skills you need to see out of Shulk. Ooh, we got a block guarder. Let's actually try equipping one of these, but in the meantime, let me do a quick save. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that Tegra Cave bit later. Okay, so in the meantime, let's uh, do some inventory management. Manage arts and skill trees. Collect and level up arts. Oh, remember, I have to press the minus sign to go to that menu. Uh, let's see. Uh... So these are all my options. So I can have up to uh, nine of these, it looks like. But right now I only have so many options. And I can't level this one up, can I? Oh, I have 273 AP. So what do I want to do first? Uh, damage. It doesn't, tell me, it doesn't tell me what I get when I level it up, so that's a problem. So I'm gonna have to save my game before I start equip before I start leveling these things up. Because again, I don't know what happens when they level up. Change character, whoops. Wrong button. Uh, Z to change character. So I let go of the Z button. And I, I, let, I hold down the Z button and use the analog stick to switch characters. And all of his skills are set. Eventually we'll run out of space. We'll have to be some more selective. Okay, so he has a wild down. Hammer beat, wild down, that's for toppling. Okay, Redu hit reduces strength. Attack reduces enemy strength, okay. Buffs, really. It does damage, but it's also, a, it does a bit of damage, but it's also a debuff, which is fine. But this is the most important skill because this topples enemies that have already been broken. So if Shulk breaks an enemy with, say, uh, he has a break here somewhere. Where's his break skill? There it is. This stream edge right here is a break skill. So if Shulk breaks an enemy, then what happens is that 
Ryan can go in with this wild down, topple the broken enemy, and that will cause the enemy to be completely incapacitated for a while. So we're gonna make we're gonna make use out of that later. Um, it's also possible that uh, Ryan will just topple an enemy that I've already broken anyway. So we'll see how it goes. So we've already learned this one, integrity. Allows for medium weight armor to be equipped. What about this? That's been that's been integrity. Improve the block rate. Improve agility. Improve ether. I don't know what ether means, so we'll grab this one instead. So I've already learned this skill. And let me uh, explain this part again because let me go to the tutorial and have to explain that part. Back there. Because there, there was a while when I first played this game I wasn't even paying attention to that. <laughs> of course, for certain speedrunners, I'm sure it's notable because they know what to level up and win for what reasons. Skills. Prioritizing a character trail would, re would grant related stat bonuses. Shulk skill tree is divided into three branches. Humanity, which increases either. Integrity, which increases block rate. Intuition, which increases agility. There are no limits on when or how many times you can switch branches. As skill points are gained after winning fights, the skills in the selected branch are learned in order from top to bottom. When the icon is full, the character learns that skill, obtain SP by defeating monsters. So you saw me switch from the middle row to the one on the left because the middle row already had a skill activated. Cover the icon shows when the skill applies. That blue icon I had on my screen shows it was still shows it was active. Skills lower down the tree require more SP. The fastest way to increase your number of skills is to switch to a different character trait once that partic once a particular skill has been learned. I learned that first integrity skill right there in the center of the screen. So I then switched to the left. Uh, fork, which is the humanity branch, the ether branch, the ether increasing branch, or in this tutorial. Once a character has acquired a particular skill, it continues to be effective even when another character trait is prioritized. So that was the part I wanted to make sense. I wanted to make sense of. Save. Once we're done with that, we'll finish up the video with some more fighting. I'll switch to, uh, let me switch to Shulk. That's Shulk line. My party screen. Uh, C. Left on the analog stick. A. So Ryan is now in charge. Ryan will be built with us for a while, so let's see what his setup is. Uh, Manage the skill trees. He's got spirit. Yes, we do. Uh, that increases his strength. Diligence increases his agility. Enthusiasm increases his critical hit rate. Uh, equip. So, what can I learn from this guy? This guy's already already can wear medium. So, Shulk has the same skill right here. This skill down here. He can equip medium weight armor, as can Ryan right here. So, for this guy, what do we want him to learn? He's 300 skill points to learn that. Oh, he's already learning the next one, okay. So now I'm curious about this one. Increases max HP. Hey, he's a bodybuilder. Increases max HP, all that thought. So we got that. He's got 54 points down there. More HP is restored when reviving a party member. We'll get to that. Healing arts restore more HP. That sounds useful later on. Increases tension gain from battle start affinity. I think that's when I press the B button. Because remember, we initiate a battle, you see that little B icon on the screen? You time it right, and eventually what happens is when you, when you time that B button press properly, I think it gives you extra tension to get into the fight. That becomes more important later. We'll see how that goes. So I want to say uh, later in the game, after a couple hours, the battles get hard enough for that's going to be important. And I want to say for boss fights, it gets pretty important later on. Okay, uh, so we got that. Okay, so I'm starting to make sense of this. We've already saved our game. Let's go back here a bit. Okay, who else do you want to fight? Crane Caterpillar. These guys are low level, so we can practice on these low level enemies. Grand Spike. Topples an enemy suffering break. Attacks temporarily increase aggro. 
Bell's Tail Engage when attacking that. Let's initiate a fight. B, in front of the right. Let's temporarily increase aggro. Is the enemy broken? I think the enemy's broken. Oh, he's already, now he's broken. <laughs> Not complaining about that. So I have to watch that. Let me go to that um, tutorial. So I want to see what does the icon show? See when the enemy's name appears in that little uh, window? If there's an icon there, I want to see what that icon shows. Not that. Tutorials. So what icon am I looking for on that screen? By the way, I'm making, by the way, I'm making a note of this because this becomes important later in the game. You can't play dumb. This way. You can't play dumb. The game will kill you if you don't pay attention. And against higher level enemies, I want to say it's a lot more important. What's the break skill? Battle tactics, rhyme, bad taunts, huh? Okay, so what's the, here we go. Break top on days. So the break icons are the little pink wobbly lines. Topples the green uh, return icons, the green arrow. So those two uh, pink lines are the break icons. So that's what we want. So as soon as, and days is the star. So is that break I those pink bars appear next to an enemy's icon? That means they've been broken and that means Orion can unleash the top of attack. So let's practice that a bit. See? Didn't press the button. Aggro. Okay, break him. Break him. He can't break him. So whatever. Okay. Remember, I'm a tank, so I can take it. Just give me that. Metal Lance. Let's actually equip some of these items. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Why not? Minus. No. How do we equip? Well, let's find out. Okay, uh, how do we do optimize this equipment here? Probably no stronger than what I already have. It's probably yes, probably no stronger than what he already has. No, wait. Six six. These are weaker. Figures. Oh well. View qualities. Pressing plus. Oh well, there's nothing to see. Nope. Equipment. Okay, let's see what's going on with this thing. A to change equipment. Eh, scrap driver. Well, these are stronger, actually. So all these are for me. All these weapons are for me. So that's the strongest. Auto attack damage is a little bit stronger, but not by much. Everything, yeah, critical rate's twice as strong. But other than that, everything else works in my favor. So we're keeping that block guarder. Let's see, empty slot. You'll worry about the gems later. Those will become more important a bit later. See, I do like that pose there. That's a pretty good pose. <laughs> okay, uh, a little bit weaker, but a little bit more. Agility and a tiny bit more easy, a little bit more easy defense. I guess I wear the nine cap. Nah. Middle armor. Yeah, that would make a difference. Middle gauntlets. Nah. This might be all I need then. We'll switch to Ryan in a second. Let's already switch to Shulk in a second. Eh, might be worth the boost. We'll see how it goes. Remember, he's a tank. He probably doesn't need to move around that much. And that's all we get. Switch character with the Z button. There's Shulk. He's got a junk sword. Do you have a better sword? Nope. Colony cap. And I can press 1 to switch tabs. And I'm not sure. Whoop, there's an upgrade. 
It's okay, it's not much of an upgrade anyway. One. Okay, so that's all we need. What about the boots? Might not even need to matter that. It doesn't even matter that much anymore, so. Yeah. Okay, we're out. Don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we're done with that nonsense. Don't need to worry about leveling up too much. Okay, get out of the menu. Okay, bust the praying caterpillar in the face. One button. Yeah, he wasn't toppled. Whoops. Yeah, that was very poorly timed. He's broken. But of course, I already used up my toppling skills. That served no purpose. If you get to higher level enemy, that might be important. But not against these guys. Verdant Bouchal. We can practice on him in a second. Or now. <laughs> Aggro. No dead. Okay, Phil's talent gauge and attack connects. That's always nice, I guess. Physical defense down. Okay, have to topple this. Supposed to break this dude, dude. Break him. Grant spike. B. Topple him. Topple him. And he's toppled. Because now that he's on the ground, we can uh, wail on him a little bit without increasing our aggro. Little talent gauge. Yeah, this guy's pretty strong. Might want to heal me, Shulk. Heal. You're not healing me, Shulk. He wasn't that hard, dude. Now I gotta reload our game set. Yeah, he's too strong for us. I was afraid of that. Now I can't heal myself. We toppled him and it didn't make a difference. So how about we not pick fights with this guy? He's kill me. Yeah. Okay, so we tried. <laughs> See, so you got CFC. This is a level five enemy. It wouldn't seem that much stronger, right? Might need someone else to fight with. What do you think? We got our level up, right? Party members. Yeah, we already leveled up. So basically, we just, we just, we just got sent back home because we suck. Okay, uh, let's do some, actually, well, you got to see some fighting. So we'll get into one more fight with these low-level enemies here. Let's pick a fight. Let's, let's get mad at this low-level bunnit and just kill him. Watch him in the face. That was easy. I'll take that. Yeah, stiff air, yeah. Worthless. Okay, so let's let's complete some side quests while we're here. Actually, we should probably save we should probably save them so we can get another ally. So let's not uh, dilly dally. So I can save my game a bit later. Wait a minute, get these. So I guess I can complete the side quest once I have my full party of three. It'll be great. Not that. You. I got another round. You don't waste your time trying to topple someone who's not broken, that's the problem. Okay. Is there a quick way to switch party members here? Nope, not that I'm aware of. Two, one. So one is for the map screen, okay, so that helps. Now I know. So I went around there and I got into trouble because those enemies were really strong. Let's go left, so we'll go left. Be over here. Yeah, this way. How strong are these enemies? Yeah, they're not that so bad. Cancel. Let's do an auto save and we'll finish up the video with some exploration. Hopefully we'll find another fast travel point once we get to the cave. We'll have to, like I said, we'll have to do a separate video when we get to the cave. So we'll just run past these guys for now. So really, I'm just trying to figure out how the pacing of the game works. We leveled up a lot early on just by exploring, completing side quests. That was pretty good. 
I wonder if the and I wonder if your allies level up with you as you're, if they're, they're outside of your party. Well, we'll see what we find. And level two enemies will be fine. So if you want to battle higher level enemies, you can. Don't fight the rabbits with the uh, wrenches. They're gonna be an issue, I guess. Pick up blue stuff along the way. It'll be great. Maybe we'll get one of those um, items we need to complete that side quest. I forgot what they're called. Because we have two of them already. Yeah, level threes we can deal with. So the enemies here are level one, level two, level three, right here along this path. And of course the higher level enemies are along the shore, alongside Colony 9. Back in town. There's the knuckle bunnets. These are the harder level. These are the harder enemies you can take on if you want to grind up a bit. But apparently you don't have to grind in this game, really. Except maybe uh, when you get to a really hard boss, you might want to grind up a tiny bit. If, if just to practice the combat a little bit. Okay, we're almost there. See, we're just avoiding a bunch of fights. It's great. Wait. Just a second. Let me uh, get a peek. We could go that way. We'll save our game before we do that, though. There we go. Okay, so I'll figure out a way to make it work. Right, here we go. Story mission. Or a cutscene. I we're gonna skip the cutscene. <laughs> uh, what? See, I knew she was gonna join us, right? So yeah, I should've waited before I did the fighting. So now we can level up then, huh? There might be something we can do in the next video is practice with Fiora. See? Like I said, don't get too attached to Fiora. Spoiler alert. Okay, so we're fine. Let's do a quick check. Well, she'll be fine, whatever. We're not, we're not, we're not going to worry about Fiora. In fact, we'll probably end up selling everything she has before, she, before we get too attached to her. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. It's like, yeah, party members die. They take all their good stuff. That always sucks. Uh, have I warned you enough times that she's not going to be around for very long? Promise to gain increase when the bonus effect or critical hit occurs. Party morale. Press the B button. You're incapacitated a party member to revive them. A revived party member needs to be at least one block in the party gauge. There are three blocks in the party gates. Party is linked by a blue line. You can perform a chain attack. Move the cursor to the talent arts icon. Use up or down to select the chain attack icon. Okay, so you move to the big talent icon in the center of the bar. Then you press up to switch to the chain attack icon. Like a try attack and a resident of fate, am I right? Find out where to go by using the story memos. Yeah, now they tell me about the story memos. <laughs> Of course, at least I figured that out accidentally, so that's good. So I always know where to go now in case I didn't know where the stupid Monado sword was at the beginning of this video. Well, that would have been nice to know. <laughs> well, I found out. So. Sometimes we'll be displayed at the top of the screen as a reminder. No excuses, really. Hi. Yeah, we'll think about it. Well, we have another side quest. Cheers. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah, it'll be fun. We got plenty of... Look at this, this hoarding quest. Simple RPG stuff. So we're going to go back to the war because there was actually something around here we wanted to see. So before we end the video, we're going to take a dive. Probably going to die if we, hit the, if, we hit the, if we hit the sand at the bottom. We're definitely going to die. So... This will be our cliffhanger. Literally. Not that. But I'm glad we got our third party member. I regret nothing! Better at the water. And I hit the water. <laughs> it's a good thing I saved my game. So what are we doing over here? Might be some hard level might be some hard enemies down here that will kill us. I thought it was a cliffhanger. 
Uh, level seven, probably not good, but we have an extra party member, so we'll come back later. We have a fast travel point at least. Let me check. One, 